What's interesting about the Welsh language is that I don't even know if it's phonetic. It's probably not. It's like er, un, r, r, a, d, I think. So walking down this uh, footpath to these uh, what looks like castle ruins. It's not on the map, but uh, gonna head that way. They want to put a walking path. Okay, I'm in Holyhead Wells. Um, some of my earliest memories and thoughts of Wells was from a book series that I love. I still love as an adult, actually. It's The Chronicles of Prydane by Lloyd Alexander. It's got a fantastic five book series. It uh, starts off with The Book of Three, Black Cauldron, uh, Castle of Lair, Tar and Wanderer, and caps off with the fantastic Newberry award-winning book, uh, The High King. Uh, fantastic book series. It was based a lot on Welsh mythology. So coming to Wells for the first time, kind of seeing the land that the book series was based on is, is something else, you know, it kind of awakens the kid in me. Uh, but here's a, the sea and the landscape. It's just beautiful. Let me see if I can zoom in over there. So yes, I'm in Holyhead Wells and I decided to go the path less travel. A lot of people were Heading towards the town, I decided to go this walkway to see this out over here. Now I'm gonna head towards the town. I walked up to another a little vantage point. Again, just wanted to take that scenery in one more time. It's often said, if you're going to kill them, kill them with kindness. And here is the sign that supports that. Your kindness may kill them. If you ever need something and don't know where to turn to, to D18 Charity Shop. So this is Holyhead Fort. to the town of Holyhead. There's not a lot to see there, but uh, coming back out to the, to the seafront, there's this beautiful sculpture right here with a crown on it and an anchor. Look at it here. So it is, uh, can't really read it, but I think the middle part, to remember the goodwill and bond between the people of, of Holyhead and the mariners of the Royal Netherlands Navy. Pretty neat sculpture. And a beautiful view. A little town behind me. Of course, the mountain over yonder. So that's been my stop over in Holyhead Wells. Okay, just stepped off the boat in Belfast in Northern Ireland. It is a world of wonder. Expect to see a lot of uh, cathedrals, sculptures, uh, great architecture. So let's go see Ireland. My first time in Ireland. So let's go, uh, well, Northern Ireland. Let's go see it. Okay, I have the Belfast City Hall behind me. 
and I'm going to walk over to the Belfast Cathedral and just walk along several city blocks to see what I see. Okay, so this is the Salmon of Knowledge. I think that's what the name of the sculpture is. I'm going to have to look up why it's called the Salmon of Knowledge. It'd be cool if it had like inside of it was like papers of recipes or survival tips or something like that. Eh, salmon of knowledge. So I'm walking along this uh, waterfront uh, by the, I guess the pier over there. There's the um, Titanic uh, Museum. Uh, for those of you who don't know, the Titanic actually sailed from Belfast uh, towards America. I don't have, unfortunately, I don't have enough time today to go see that museum. But on the walk to here. I noticed something very interesting. There's a little stained glass uh, uh, sculpture or thing that's erected here, and it's a uh, Game of Thrones. <laughs> Got the, uh, I guess there's Ned being uh, beheaded up there. Got Jon Snow there in the middle. So, yeah. Quick update. The Titanic sold from Southampton, England, but it actually was built in Belfast, concepted and built in Belfast. And there's the Titanic Museum. Again, just want to correct myself. So walking along the streets of Belfast, I came into an area where it seems to probably have a great nightlife if I was here in the evening. But I saw this uh, Yeats uh, entry and it was just beautiful that it's uh, cut out in the, the metal there, but a very beautiful poem. A lot of nice, uh, you know decorations here that's another one everything is going to be all right but uh decided maybe i should go stop and get a guinness so let's see what this place looks like inside this is how you drink a guinness Okay, there's a couple places I'm gonna try while I'm in Belfast, and this is one of them. This comes highly recommended as one of the best, uh, quote unquote, the juiciest chicken burger in all of Belfast, the Dirty Onion Yard Burger. So we're gonna go in here and check this out. Of course, their fried, uh, I think their fried chicken burger is the thing to try. Here's the menu at your bird. I'm going to be having a fried chicken yard burger with sweet potato fries. And the chickens, the rotisserie chickens are right there spinning along. Alright, this is the yard bird. It's supposed to be the juiciest burger in Belfast. Alright, pretty good. Okay, I had the Yardburg fried chicken burger. It uh, was commented as the most juiciest chicken burger in Belfast. Even though it was juicy, I felt that it was a really thin uh, piece of chicken. Uh, not, it was more bread than meat, but it was still tasty, but it needed definitely more meat. So other than that, it gets a one thumbs up instead of two. 
Okay, I love hamburgers. I'm a big fan of Shake Shack, as everyone knows that watches my channel. So in the top rated burger places in Belfast, this place makes the top 10 list quite frequently. It's called Bunsen, or I guess it's Bunsen. And it's actually across the street from Yardbird, so I'm gonna go try Bunsen now. So what I really like about this place, it's pretty cool. You got those little like business cards for uh, Bunsen, but they keep it really simple. Really simple menu, hamburgers, double hamburgers, cheeseburgers double, your, your traditional toppings, soda milkshake, fries, two different cuts of fries and a sweet potato fries. Look at that. Simplistic menu. I think Gordon Ramsay, I think in the, some of his uh, TV shows often talks to restaurants about having a simplified menu. You know, do something, do a few things extremely well. So I'm really looking forward to what this burger tastes like. So let's get to it. Okay, this is the double cheeseburger from Munson. It looks very tasty. It's hot piping. I got some sweet potato fries. Let's do the taste test. All right, here's our double cheeseburger, Benson's taste test. It tastes like something I can make at home, so therefore it does not be Shake Shack. So Shake Shack, still number one in my book. It's not a bad burger, it's good, but I can make this at home. Okay, I'm at City Hall in Belfast. A lot of statues around here. I thought that was a really nice floral arrangement of Belfast. So yeah, that's gonna pretty much I'll wrap up my day in Belfast. So yeah, Belfast, you've been really fun. It's not that big of a city. Uh, very e easily walkable, the weather, even though it was overcast. It did not rain, so it was a nice day. So, all right, back to the boat.